Jump for his ink, he Kirby, he gives you an. Am I supposed to be asleep? Probably. PZ here by Albion he generic. Ooh, a swordsman max. Let's get some early archers. No, no, no. Oh, shit. Un undo? Wait, can you undo? I wasn't meaning to place it there. Uh-oh. Oh, huh. alright. I guess I've placed it there. My bad. I don't quite know how I managed to do that. Seventeen spear. If I place this here, this is so bad because now this tile can't close it. Oops. I got this water closed, but oh, that's huge. Welcome back to the Hex Guardians. I'm here forever. Works for me. We got some boats and some swordsmen. Ah. Gotta work out what counters boats, maybe. Seems like it would be helpful. How's it going, Karyaga? Hey, it's Chandarin. Yeah, I don't know. I was just awake still, so I decided. I might as well stream more. Ah, I did it again. That's weird. 
I see. I'm trying to left click to... Well, now there's like no tile I can ever place here, probably. Hmm. Oops. Oh! <gasps> Never mind. I wonder if it tries to give you tiles that, um... fit what's available, like what spaces are available. Like it kind of felt like it did right then, right? Eleven boaties and some swordsmen. I was watching MSI and I was like, I'll just stream while I watch MSI. I can just mute it and watch it off to the side while I stream. And then I started streaming and immediately paused it. Turns out that streaming actually does kind of require you to focus on what's going on. Mm -hmm. Got a bunch of spearmen. <sighs> the second map, you decided to watch Jorbs. So yeah, I watched, uh, T1 versus who's it Miding, uh, and that was a game, and then I stopped. <laughs> sure was a game though. Well, I guess it was two games. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> anyway, I did watch that. Where will I put my great lighthouse? Maybe up there? I don't know. You're one chuck lighting, lightning away from your first rotating streak. Nice, Valchicola. You can do it. I believe in you. 21 spear horses. Should we do math? Can I find out things about this? HP, movement speed, castle damage. HP, melee attack, tech type. Oh, find out a lot about it. Okay. 
I see. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't want to place towers that can't shoot the road as well. Is cute and has hexagons, therefore you like it. Believable and reasonable. A very reasonable position to have. I mean, there's always going to be a boat coming from that way, right? This will always have something to shoot at, I guess. Made it to day eight. I'm slightly surprised. Feels like this one has not gone super great. Don't know if I'm making it past day eight. Maybe I need towers that are just for the boats. Do you realize what's going on with this game? It's a really good game. It is an appealing seeming game. I don't know what cultural buildings do yet. Perhaps this will be the run where I find out. It seems easiest to get everything coming from this direction. Because we have two road openings this way. I guess I could actually close those off and get stuff coming from this direction instead. We'll see what uh, taxes we get. Definitely seems like getting everything coming from two directions as quickly as possible is a big part of the game. Alright, let's see what this does. Will I die? Maybe. Observer generates stars over time, which is used to pray for blessing in the castle. Don't know what that means. <laughs> Whoa. What is... Oh, I see, it's just Thailand. Is Does it have... has two roads. And they connect. Oh, wait. Archers. Well, getting six gold per minute. Yikes. Uh, I think 
I was trying to get stuff coming from this direction. Yeah. Maybe I could close this off here. How are you, Lucy? 11 months? Observatory doesn't give more when placed higher. The reason that that is a thing is air pollution. I'm not sure there's a lot of air pollution uh, in this world. Kind of not getting a strong air pollution vibe. Uh, the towers have longer range. There is a there is a bonus for towers. Thirty-three axemen and ten boats. Oh no. Very little econ, unfortunately. Doesn't fit here somehow? Oh, I see the river um, bends too viciously. Ooh, I got an extra card from my meta progression. Close this off, so now boats will all come from here. Oh. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh no. <laughs> uh, oh no. I'm gonna have to close this, I think. save this tile to see if the next wave will have people coming from this direction because I think like these are not that big a deal. I'm assuming that at some point meta progression gives me more range on towers because my tower range feels kind of low. The they are billions micro trick. I don't think I want that. <laughs> so there's a they are billions micro trick where you click on when you click on a new target, it resets your wind up basically. 
so you get to fire faster. So if I go boom, 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 boom. All right, it doesn't seem to actually work. That's good. Twenty-eight spearmen, eleven boats. Uh, these boats are a bit of a problem. I should use this here and see what's next. What is this? Closes a road? for me. An enemy is not small. The moves that have ended. Correct. So that's a big part of the game, like the strategy of the game, trying to get your roads to stop. Trying to make a loop of things. Ooh, I almost have a hundred. chest somewhere. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Where is it? Hmm. Horseman. These are going to arrive at about the same time. I take some damage here. I think these are the horsemen that deal a lot of damage too. Can I delete this maybe? Where are you to pray? Pray for a blessing. Allies deal 30% more final damage to enemies under abnormal status. Don't know what that means. Spell duration increased by 20%. Allied range units attack speed increased by 40% when castle's health is lower than 30. Next blessing costs me 200. Man links with 25 months. Yeah, blessings seem to be like basically another card, right? Seems reasonable. Agile cavalry of common groups. Oh, I 
I've increased the range on these. Get a bit further than before. We. Uh, it's kind of weird that this doesn't tell you when it's at a hundred, right? I wonder if there would be a reason not to spend it as quickly as possible ever. Maybe there is, I don't know. Like every single one of those boats is making it to my castle. It's okay. We want to be below 30 health, right? Is what we just learned. I can re-roll them. Sure, I guess so. But still, I would want to look at what they were when I hit 100 to see if I needed to re-roll them or not. UI made it seem like you have to pick something when you pray no option to skip or hold off until you have more to be able to reroll. Oh! Yeah, I see what you're saying. Good point. There's a lot of boats. I think boats are OP. I wonder if they've ever tried using boats in real warfare. I don't die though. Wait, I do die actually. Uh, these are not even attacking anything. This is a new PBA on this map. Oh no. I don't leave myself space for my great lighthouse. Oops. I think it would have been better not to take it than to have taken something else. Or anything so 30 months. Hey Gusta. 
boats and real warfare. Yeah. But they're they're on the water. What if they just fell in the water or whatever? Does it make any sense? The problem seems to be that like you can't stop boats. Like you can't have somebody stand in front of boats to stop them from moving. They just like go in the water and then you die. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not sure what I'm meant to do about that. a bit earlier. Would have cleared the wave for me. GG! If only we could have our own boats. I suspect we'll get our own boats somewhere. Although... None of those actually look like boats. Maybe I'm wrong. to lock something. I'm not actually using swordsmen. Let's just lock them. There's something called a hydrometer. Here it is. I need... Oh, I just needed one more day. Lark, thanks for the 44 months. Thank you. Pretty good game. This Elden Ring thing. I did enjoy it. Uh, what am I doing here? I have to pick which direction stuff's going from. Maybe this way. Yeah, Liberty it is early and late, I think. Try to make a loop with this that opens up more ocean avenues, though. This way. Okay. This looks promising. We'll wrap these around and link them, and then we'll have all the boats coming this way. Ah. Can you build two of the same thing at the same time? And it doesn't go up in cost. Is that what I just did? Interesting, if true. Maybe you can, I don't know. There are a lot of really cool tiles. The tiles are pretty sweet. Okay, so what it says it costs does an update, but I have 140 and it costs 120 I can't build it. So what it actually costs does update. Twenty spearmen. Hmm. 
Some Devil's Rogue Tower? No, it is not. Kind of comparable game, though. Closer to having this closed off. Josh. It's a pretty good game, Slay the Spire. I know that's a uh, pretty big take around here, but it is something I personally believe. And the board game is pretty good. Two observatories. Oh, the boats are all coming from over here. Is that manageable? I don't know. I don't think that's meant to happen. I wonder if those archers are actually real. I have two archers here from the archery tower that I built and then deleted. game except for the jawworm. True. Okay, I get to delete those boats. Wait, when I place this, do I... I get it straight away. Alright, cool. I don't have to wait for them to start spawning. Kill something else with that next turn. Or I can just wait until something's spawning in one of these two paths. So I'm gonna kill those. Charles has made it to Act 2. Uh, and got Runic Pyramid? Well, that seems pretty good. What does it mean by Taxify the Ground? It says Toxify. It means that it puts poison on the ground. Dima! <laughs> did not think these would be strong enough to get through. Uh-oh.
Well, they sure were. Uh, yikes. What's next? 12 boats, 14 horses, zero horses. Put a wonder there. That's where my great lighthouse goes, I guess. If I don't die, which is currently a fairly large F, I can take a blessing. I can take a blessing before then. Okay, nice. Hmm. These all seem kind of terrible. I don't think my towers have any crit chance. And that was the only one that potentially did anything. Do I have endless or do I win on a certain day? I don't know. Game came out today. I haven't played much of it yet. Well, now it has a crit chance. Damn it. I got an extra one. Uh, we have Pokey. Horses coming from this direction. bunch of boats that I probably cannot actually kill coming from this direction, but we'll give it a go. Windmill provides food to nearby houses, producing gold. I wonder if the stuff further out is generally stronger. Game seems tough for sure. I'm also... Like, I don't have to go to harder levels as quickly as I am. I'm choosing that for myself and it is... Perhaps not the right choice to be making. Bless me? No. Bless you, my friend. Also bless me, though.
Like, something I've noticed on this map is I don't feel like I'm getting as much econ as I used to on this one. Just like aren't very many houses, I guess. Yeah, I think that's real. That feels real. EV. The remains of destroyed entities instantaneously stop their forward velocity. Is this unrealistic? Have you been watching weird internet videos again? Housing is fucked just like an ARL. It's a very realistic game. Too realistic? Maybe too realistic. Let's just buff the hell out of archers. Why would I need things other than archers? Probably about to find out. this road to that. It's trembling a bit though. We got boats, we got horses. One thing that I actually quite like in Rogue Tower that this doesn't have is experience for structures over time. So there's a benefit to placing a tower somewhere that will be useful later. Even if you don't upgrade it yourself straight away, because it will start upgrading itself. It's like a nice feeling of progression without having to do much, I guess. I mean, I want those to connect, but I want them to connect and terminate. Observatory counts as a cultural building. I think so, yeah. This is culture, right? Maybe? I don't know. Nice. Uh, we can wait on that and see if land units are spawning here next wave. spawn the wave and kill them for gold. I immediately get the gold from the wave when they die. I want this by a river so I can build fishing huts that hit the houses. 
Yeah, you get all of the resources. All the gold, all of the land tiles. Wait, I didn't look at... Oh yeah, they're dead. Right. I killed them. I remember now. Am I getting income from the houses? Yes. The houses give six income per minute. Also, fishing huts produce gold. And they produce more gold if they are built by houses. Interesting tile. Swordsman, 12 boats. Uh-oh. So, this should be pretty big. I wonder if a day-night cycle is a minute. That would kind of make sense. I think it probably is. Oh my god, they're just walking through my archers. Archers, why? Archers, do something. Wait, where'd you go? Why did they walk over there? <laughs> that wasn't great. <laughs> that, was, that was a poor showing overall. Try making a fire tower. In order to unlock crazy grassland, I need to do hard for 19 days. Let's do that. Bosses always choose the portal corresponding to the longest path. Be prepared from day one. The Karak is arriving on day 10. The Karak is a boss that fights on water. Can't be hit by melee units. Use towers or units that can attack from a distance to beat it. Oh no. And it will arrive at the longest path on day 10. We're trying to close this, make a loop. What if we have no water path by day 10? That's an interesting question. I don't know. I'm going to set it on fire. Okay. Will this be good? I don't know. Enemies hit by fire, elements hit burning, losing HP when receiving damage. They don't lose HP like over time, they lose HP when receiving damage. They also res Oh, this is terrible. You don't have to shoot that one, it's already dead. I thought it would be like a flamethrower. 
Our boat's flammable. I sure hope so. Looks like they should be. Oh no. It's like mostly fine though. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Uh taking this further. A bunch of boats. I don't have archers. Oh. Oh, I didn't see that those were there. sure wooden boats set on fire just fine am I gonna get all of them? Alright, that's actually really good. I would like that path to close. I'd like this path to close. I'd like to start building this path out a bit more. doing here. It was useful. It was quite useful. Alright, successfully closed this off. It's awesome. I should have waited to see if it's where the next boats were going to spawn. Like, there's actually a pretty good chance that would have been, isn't there? Oh well. Thirty-nine swords people. I have no way to block them, and they're coming from a direction where I have zero towers. That seems kind of bad. Ooh, 
Welcome back, Fire Tower. Yeah. And then are there boats? Oh my god, there are, there's a way for boats to get in there. Still, I didn't know. Okay, well, I guess I'm dead. Wait, I died so fast. Should I, like, try to fight to survive? Maybe I fight to survive. I have decent con, right? Oh, this thing. Have seen this game before? Oh, well, it's new. So how would you have? this to go there. This is called leaking. Okay. There's another 41 x man coming the other way this time. I can move these back over here. for easy mode. I am, this is hard. Like, this is, I don't know what makes it hard, but this is hard difficulty for this map. Might be the first time I've played on a hard difficulty map. Ooh. Okay, that seems kind of huge. So this area is actually all closed now. Uh, which means all of the land units are going to come through here. Upgrade it seems cool. Wait, there was a fire bounce? I didn't read it. <laughs> what did I click on? <laughs> it does sound pretty cool. I feel like the fire towers are just missing a lot of the time. Yeah? Are you seeing that too? Like it just shot one of my houses or something? Is it lagging? I don't. I'm not sure what's going on. Doesn't look great though. If I can survive long enough to get a second blessing, could be fun. I'm getting 42 thing per minute. Oh, it's coming that way. I forgot that way existed. Um, gosh, that's pretty miserable. All right, let's delete all this. The goal has to be to survive until the next day, right?
that does make it better. However, I believe I am being overrun and now I'm done. All right. What shall I buy next? Oh, I have exactly 200. Uh, I'm going with the windmill. Let's try to win one. It was so much gold per minute. Unlucky. I don't even think I took that much stuff for gold per minute there. fish houses? I had like a non-zero amount of fish houses. I don't know if I had a ton of them. Can I delete this and build another? Arthire. Let's try to close this. to close this actually. Like I don't really know what's going on. Closing that seems hard. But if I close this, eh, this may be fine. Next, 14 swordsmen, same direction. All right. I see they take three shots now. Pikes, 10 boats. Oof. Seems really brutal in this game. What's a game with meta progression? Oh, 
road tile is incredibly scary. I think it's fine. It's just like where my stuff is going to be coming from from now on. Don't really think that's a problem though. Because they can't come from this direction, so they're all going to come from up there. Did I turn off archers or something? Another tower type. Inexplicably. My strategy of only taking and building econ buildings has not resulted in me being very good at killing the enemies. Although, I don't think I leak this wave, actually. It's kind of wild to me. Uh, sure. The problem is that I need more econ buildings. Yes. Uh huh. It's okay. I can build more. Thirteen light cavalry and. Is that it? 11 boats from there? Oh, that is very rude. Cool, so we're about to take a lot of damage. I wonder why it likes shooting the horses so much, even though the horses are further away from my castle. Great lighthouse. Hmm. That hit everybody? I think that hits everybody. Service buildings. Is that what my thing is? I don't have any melee units. It's possible to give towers targets like strongest first. I don't believe so, unfortunately. At least not at the moment. If it is, it might be hidden behind meta progression. Ooh. 
Uf. Nej, besvare. Crits from this are just exactly not breaking the shield. And then... <laughs> and then its next attacks are just barely not lethal. It's very painful. It's very, very painful. It feels like arrow towers um, don't upgrade the way that I think they do. When it says fires four additional weaker arrows, I think that only works if there are four enemies that it can target, which makes them kind of uniquely bad for killing boats. But you know what? We're learning, so that's okay. Yeah, you can click to focus a target, that is correct. That's not what we're trying to do. That's a huge tile. Let's see where the boats are next wave. Okay, I wonder why this is still here after you build it. Like, what is its purpose still being in the bar? I don't think you can build two ever. Nonviolent communication is an interesting topic, Coriolane. I think we should all study it together. I believe what I just said was not nonviolent communication, by the way. I think. Okay.
I need a place where it hit two houses for it to be worth that. Doesn't look like it. Pretty close to my second blessing. This is like kind of cheap. Let's build another one. Hmm. Actually, can't place that to end a road anywhere. Sad. What do stars do? Oh, they give you an upgrade every now and then. Is it ever worth waiting for a blessing so I can potentially reroll? I mean, I think given that it is an option, it conceptually must be worth it to do that sometimes. Oh, this isn't by water, so it's not getting the great lighthouse buff anyway. That's rude. <laughs> Gave us the previous two tiles in the wrong order. It sure did. Produce 200 stars by buildings in a single game. Well, this is pretty bad. Maybe that's actually good. 40% more damage to mounted units. Yeah, that might be good. Hey, beast, how are you? There's only one road opening now. Doing good. Nice. Glad to hear it. No buffs. I think actually not that good here.
Can I close all incoming roads? I could. Yep. If land units can't arrive, um, the boats will enrage and be stronger. That's what it told me anyway. I'm done. GG. It's okay. Now our castle has more health. We can never die. Correct. 64 bit robot. Boots seem tanky. There's also like twice as many as there usually were. So I feel like that contributed possibly. Thanks for the raid. Hope you're doing well. At numbers, I had strength, but now we have health. I've actually been starting every run at full health, so... Kind of surprising that I ever lose. What did I just click on? What? That just kind of appeared out of nowhere. Awkward. Well, I have a cannon tower. What if cannon towers are secretly OP? What if it isn't very secret? <laughs> um, anyway, I have nothing to spend all my money on. Watching this makes you want to play Thronefall. I have never played Thronefall. I have heard of Thronefall. I believe I have heard good things. I think. Is that right? Would I have heard good things? What do you think?
This strategy seems OP to the point of maybe just completely breaking the balance of the game. Maybe I'm not considering the implications fully somehow. It seems pretty OP though. Strategy, uh, just closing all of the paths as quickly as possible. So, now there are only land units and they can only come through here. The tutorial said that, like, a starting path was too short and we had to extend it to be safe. And as such, it implied that it would not be correct to simply try to close the path as quickly as possible. And the tutorial was very wrong. <laughs> um, that is an initial impression that I have. In Rage level 4, day 7 requires two portals, but there's only one available. Okay, but like, they just all die stall, right? Hmm, what if they don't? The enemies aren't getting that buffed though. They're getting plus 80% on the enemies and I have made it so there are uh, half as many of them. So overall the enemies are weaker. Right? Seems right to me. Any of the cannons seems pointless with enemies facing. Well, we're fighting against enemies, which are spaced. I think it spawns in just as many enemies. Huh, maybe it does. I don't know. I don't think it does. <laughs> seven. In rage level seven. Day nine requires three portals. Hmm.
It sure seems a lot. Like I'm just waiting to see if I get a piece that will close this road or not. And if I do, I win. And if I don't, I don't. Right? <laughs> We're a bit awkward. I do have quite a lot of health sitting around, so... We either don't give you one if there's only one portal left. Hmm, maybe. The game says I'm not meant to put archers on the road. And I would like to apologize profusely to my archers. <laughs> Sorry, friends. My bad. Uh. I did die. Yeah, I don't know. That was weird. I wonder if I get fewer things total. I wanna try having guards. Losing the waterways seemed right. Eh. I don't know, it didn't work very well. Do drop coins when killed, yeah. I don't know how big a deal it is relative to the money I'm getting just passively. a thing here? Unbelievable.
Is one condition to close all roads in the end? I haven't won one yet. Did I? <laughs> I, don't, I don't see a Dran, but maybe. This is a wild idea, but I think if I do this, I can actually close it more easily than waiting for an end piece, maybe. It is a wild idea. Ooh, that's kind of huge. That's just me. Sometimes I get wild ideas. another then it's quite a lot of econ What would be cool would be if we could get a blockade piece. So if you had a split path, you could blockade the short path and force the enemies to go around the long version. I see what you mean. I agree that that would be cool. Let's try out these guards. They're in charge of guarding the bridge. Seems kind of reasonable. And we put archers up on the actual top of the bridge. <laughs> we need them to swim. Yeah. I've noticed. Wait, what are they doing? Why, why did they run off the road? And now... They're over there. What, what are you doing, guards? What exactly is going on here? Hmm. That's not what I was hoping they would do. You know, honestly, the archers did a better job of guarding the path than the guards seem to be doing.
there might be upgrades that change that. It would kind of make sense. Their armor not regenerates. So what happens is they keep fighting until they die, and then a new one respawns. Which I think is kind of a weird way to do it. But it does seem to be how they do it. This rogue tower meets dwarf romantic. Kinda. Yes, they respawn with delay when they die in the middle of the wave. feel like I have good econ. Is that good? I don't know. I'm gonna build more archers to shoot at the boats, I think. Feels like the best way that I have to deal with boats. It works, kinda. Uh, another thing that ends, no! Oh, what a disaster. I put it here and then we just need a piece that moves it into that. Boom. I could have waited, I guess. I should have waited, my bad. I like the arrow tower completely ignoring the boats. This is absolutely a thing that I have noticed. The arrow tower does not love um, actually shooting the boats as they sail by, even if the boats are closer to my castle than the other things. No weird. That's as far as they go. All right. So if I had but something else that would shoot things while they were here, that would kind of help. Who are these? In there. Oops. Oh shit, they're through. I did not think they would get through. I like like 20 health or something. Do this. Fifteen boats, twenty-six of those. These will take a while to get there though. I think this is maybe okay. Are my archers in the wrong place? I feel like how your wave goes changes 
surprisingly large amounts based on where your archers actually are and what they actually decide to shoot at. The Great Lighthouse. If I care. This was a satisfying tile to place? I liked it. I was personally a fan. Maybe another guard barracks? I don't know if these are any good, actually. Also, like, I should work out some way to kill these, presumably. Maybe just make it so the archers are only shooting the enemy boats. You meant the road ending in the middle- oh, this one? Yes, that was pretty good too. I wonder what the plan is. Because that's a road under construction right there. Where are they intending to construct it to? This looks quite a lot better than how I was set up last time. Archers are doing relevant things. No. Do we win these? Hey, Miss Lillian. I think this is the sort of game that could perhaps appeal to people in my community. How many boats? Remember blessings, oh shit. All your elemental damage. Allies deal more damage to mounted enemies. I don't know what final damage is. We'll do this. We're popping off. Let's make another thing then. Is it good? Almost certainly no. Damage after all of the multipliers. Yeah, that is likely to be what that means. I agree. Oh no. 
Wait, why... why is everything leaking? <laughs> why? <laughs> How did I ever get to day 16? How is it possible? Okay, so guards are bad. I think the way I did it was, um... I just upgraded my archers. I just had a smaller deck total, and I upgraded all my archers. And then I won. Well, I didn't win, but I got to 16. <laughs> Let's try that again. Does ground toxicity affect the guards? Uh, quite possibly. Is that what happened? Did I take a perk that killed my guards? Different biomes change uh, quite a lot of stuff, yeah. Does burning fire do percent HP damage? I don't know. Maybe. Yolo. This one says it's two stars. It must be good. <laughs> um. there. Very upsetting. Never really got into tower defense games. Any good recommendation on where to start? My cousins actually really like balloons. I've never played it. But it seems largely um enjoyed. Boom. Uh, do we wait? Perhaps we wait and try to catch the next wave of ships in one of these two. I wonder if they shoot at the thing closest to them, rather than the thing closest to your castle. It's okay, I didn't need this health. Uh, <laughs> all right, that, that actually wasn't that bad. Sniped it. Boom. No.
No need to be greedy. I only need one health. Yeah. Yeah, what's the point of trying to have more health than that? Good point. You're real smart, Chatter. I appreciate your perspective. <laughs> uh, one of the things I don't quite understand is it feels like... It feels like I don't get much from the path being longer. I'm not really sure what I'm gaining by making the path long. Like, the enemies take longer to get here, sure. But I don't have anything attacking them while they're walking. So, like, what does that do? Feels like not much. You would personally like to have two health, so you can have one more health to give away. What's that? My one regret is I have but one life to give for my country. Who said that? I don't know a lot of, like, Revolutionary War era quotes, but, uh, I remember that one. I think whoever it was had three names. Which is really quite a lot of names. Nathan Hale. Oh. That's only two names. Maybe time to start actually building turrets? What do we think? Like, kind of feels like I need more damage for not dying right now. And I have very little that deals with boats. These ballistas are not good against boats, and I don't imagine that the cannons are either. He was a spy, so maybe he hid his third name from the pretty. Oh, wait, are you using a British encyclopedia? How embarrassing. Who looked that up? Is Wikipedia British? I don't know. I actually don't know. I don't know who does Wikipedia. Feels like a thing a university would do. Do they have universities in Britain? Wikipedia is Welsh. Nah. Is it really? Does that make it the main cultural export of Wales? 
co-founders are American and American British. Sounds resoundingly not Welsh. But then, I suppose many Welsh things probably do. Uh, everything is spread out, so my towers can't hit more than one thing at once. This is not a good wave for me. Not a good wave for me. <laughs> one of the founders is called Jimmy Wales. Okay. I understand our confusion, then. Well, I'm dead. I don't know. That was kind of weird. I never got, um, never got a thing. I wonder if any of the upgrades... Let's look at what the upgrades are. There's so many of them. Allied units attack and heal for more. They have more health. Castle gives more gold. Culture prediction things do more. Extra upgrade card chance. How many extra upgrade card chances are there? Like, if you eventually get to a point where you're getting two upgrade cards per day, then, like, sure. Yeah, okay. I get it. I get how that could change the difficulty significantly. One, two, three, four, five. I already have one unlocked, so that would be six. Does it get to like 70%? That's very awkward. <laughs> I feel like you kind of want that to, uh, to either be 100% or like, I don't know, 50%? One, two, three. Maybe I'm just missing some. Four, five, six. Yeah, I don't see it. Choose a blessing on day 12. Well, that's nice. These are mostly. Generic. Tower attack range seems like it would help quite a bit. Need to get to day 12. Look here. Choose a blessing on day 2. Oh, I should have gotten that one like forever ago. Okay. Choose a blessing on day two seems like it would help. Action 20% faster seems very strong. Does it? Oh. I only need to get to day 10 in Rockland to get the next thing. And then I can unlike, unlock the roguelike version of the game. Uh, how do I close these? I have to make, like, one of them meet. I have to make, like, these two meet each other or something? That seems hard. Why does it feel to me? Oh, because this already turned once. Okay, so we're trying to make these two meet each other. Summons Thunder. It deals double damage to boats and flying enemies. No archery range. I don't need a tower anymore. I 
Ooh, a house. You don't get many houses on this map. Income is a lot worse. Uh, I imagine three of these would be fine. We'll just have four, though. That will also be fine, and they'll be useful later. It's a lot of turning it has to do still. Click to cast a spell. Left click to cast. Deals double damage. Okay. Another house. Huge. Uh, swordsman coming this way. Go over there. Was it good? Hmm. Is it good to take houses close by or spread them out? Look, I've been playing the game for like three hours. You want to be able to build things near the houses. I mean, I think the answer to your question actually changes depending on how much meta progression somebody has, probably. I kind of want to wait on this. See if I can catch a wave. I can't hear, but maybe next time. Ooh, Thunder doesn't even get cast once a wave. Okay. I was expecting its cooldown to be a little bit... Uh, more generous than that, I guess. Ah! How do I... Okay. Chance of crit increased by 40%. Toxify ground. Is that good? I don't know. Maybe? I'm a little bit concerned that that will kill my own units. Got him. Mission complete. If I close this off, I could. Well, all of the land units will be coming through here, so maybe I could focus on having the boats coming this way as well. I could use this high ground for towers, actually. That seems pretty good. Did I close it? No. I can do this, and that's like more high ground for towers? That does close it. Oh, I should have waited. Wait. Did I kill them anyway? I don't see any land units anywhere. Hmm. I have 760 gold. Feels like a lot of gold. 
Unfortunately, these can't reach the houses. Killed them with an earlier tile. Wait, we're still at that wave? Oh my. Okay. I just placed a lot of stuff. Cool. Yeah, you get more treasure chests on this map, actually. So I guess economy maybe isn't worse. That's a pretty cool piece to get the place. Spawn camping? True. Yes. Technically, yes. Thirty-nine X men. Now they're gonna try to come over the bridge. Oh no! Oh no. Not like this. Hopefully we kill the boats and then uh, have time to switch over to fighting the Axemen. Star resource uh, eventually gives me another skill upgrade, basically. I think I got him. Wait, that would actually close all of my roads. So I'd only be dealing with boats. That seems terrible. <laughs> I don't think I can kill boats. Critical hit damage increased by a billion. Critical hit damage increased by 70%. That seems better. Alright, my archers are still doing things. Everybody's coming this way this time. There, 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 there. Uh, we do have light cavalry trying to get through. Well, that's kind of as many archers as I can fit. Well, there's this, I guess. We have light cavalry trying to get through the bridge. Oh, and the boat's going all the way around there. Oh, shit. Oh, that's actually a huge problem. Alright, I need some way to kill the boats. Those boats are not going to die. Oh, hi. Wait, does that make them go the other way? I think it does. Is that better? I think it might be. Oh, oh my god. God. Uh, it was definitely better having them going the other way, though. So at least that happened. One more observatory. Seems relatively cheap. 
Great Lighthouse. Feels like it would be good if I had any towers. Oop, cannon towers? I got a second one. Let's improve our archers. 13 boats. 21... Spear horses. Ah, I mean, horses aren't great for me. Is there anyone in chat who has perfect pitch who chuckles whenever they hear an F? Are there any songs? which um notably use an f to illustrate a like falling moment in the momentum of the music Take this to give myself a little bit of breathing room i think with that actually maybe i'm okay against these You can, like, target this if you want, because your bomb explodes, right? Alright, that was kind of huge. I would like to close this. I'm not sure making it bigger is the solution. <laughs> is it, though? You could have land units go one way and boats go the other way. I've tried that before. It never feels like it's working. No targeting prime in this game. No, I don't think so. I was thinking I could now make more archers. I don't know what's up with me and archers. I have some sort of sick archer thing. It's frankly disgusting. I apologize, not just to my fans, but also to myself. I'm better than this. However, I do have more archers now. Did I reach a new PB? No, I still haven't. Wait, there are war boats over there. Oh god, there's so many boats. Abnormal status. I don't think I make anybody have abnormal status. So this is just cultural buildings produce more, or... Oh. Do that one. Elemental damage is better when we're below 30 HP, which we almost are, and I have thunder, so at least it does something. I love watching old... British radio shows, apparently. I don't even know that about myself. Damn. Big if true. Does Jorbs mean jovial orbs? Y'all notice that they just don't have orbs in video games anymore? It's because I took all of them. Wait, if I survive this day, I unlock the next map, I just realized. Am I surviving? I might be. Slightly closer than I would like. But I believe I am. Okay. So 
now I can just lose if I would like. And it feels like a good deal. You missed the collectathon games where you collected various colors of orbs. There was one where you yourself were an orb, and then your orb kept getting bigger and bigger as you collected other orbs. What a great game. They just don't make games like that anymore. It's always microtransactions and sex appeal. Don't get me wrong, there's a place for that too. I don't know why I built a fishing village. It seems like not the most important thing, right? Oh well. <laughs> it is what I've done. I wonder why the game thinks my archers shouldn't be on the road. They are so much better on the road than anywhere else. Uh, I made a thing that made elemental damage better, if I remember right. Always time to macro. Our nexus is exploding. Let's get some more macro going. You know what? If it works, it works. Macro when you're ahead. Macro when you're behind. This might be survivable, because I can let a few through, and then, right about, like, now, I can cast Thunder again. Wow, that didn't deal any damage. <laughs> uh, I thought it would do more than that. Alright, so claims about this being survivable were exaggerated. <clears throat> Fair enough. But I did beat Rockland easy. 10 days. Thunder would be a lot better if it were good. <laughs> wow, big claim. Uh, I can get a blessing on day 2 now. This is a card you have to click on? Ew, I don't know. Feels like the passives are better. Like wonder effect range. Oh, I got another lock. Let's get rid of... Uh, what do I not like? I get rid of that? Oh, no. That is default, I guess. What am I allowed to lock? I don't like guards. They're just worse archers. They're archers, but they don't shoot. 
Okay. In order to unlock roguelike mode, roguelike challenge, rainforest day 14. It sounds impossible on hard difficulty. I have to do day 16 of easy in order to get... Okay, that's that's just impossible, right? I think that's just impossible. Let's try to beat Grassland easy. Does the game have meta progression? It does. You were just looking at it, right? I feel like you were just looking at it. Day two. Allied ranged units. Uh, a lot of money. Sure, I'll take some money. We're playing on the one that has like rivers or whatever, right? Archers eat for breakfast. Is this going to be a joke? Yes, yeah, Strab. See, flight. You want to know what archers eat for breakfast? Pieces of shit like you? I don't. I don't know. You can't ask someone the setup for a joke and then ask them to give you the punchline. It doesn't work. <laughs> that was kind of mean. No, was it? What else do you say? What I'll eat for break breakfast? Pieces of shit like you. What is that? Pulp Fiction? You can't cancel me. I'll only become more powerful than before. Happy Gilmore. There you go. Happy Gilmore has probably not aged very well. In fairness. The double. Feels like the enemies are a little bit more threatening than they were before. I think I still hold. Cool. That would have been good to play earlier. Well, 
now that we're here, I think I just hold it and try to catch boats next wave. Anyone else feel too old to play a new game and you just want to watch someone else play? Not me. I'm super young. I feel spry and alive. I went for a walk the other day. Just to give you, like, some example of... how true that is. Youthful exuberance streamer. That's me. You have to play games until they're in your stream library and then you change your mind. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, that seems like a good thing to do. I'm trying to make the boats come from this direction. Your dad used to play games for you because you were too intimidated. Yeah, that was my uncle for me. It's a good time. Somebody else playing a game for you. I get it. This wave should be free because we sniped the land units. And then next wave we can snipe the land units again. Another fishing hut costs 360. Sure, let's make another fishing hut. Oh. You love how Play-Doh the game is. It is a bit Play-Doh. I get it. Hmm. Don't know if any of these are good. I have concerns about overfishing. Absolutely not. Zero. Don't really know what I'm doing with this. There? No, that makes it harder to close this. Throw it away somehow. Oh, here. Yeah. Put it here. This way I can make another fishing hut. And that one's 41 per minute. Kind of huge. Make another? 480. Was unreasonably expensive. So all the enemies are coming from this way, which means like building an archer thing here looks pretty reasonable. Well, not all of them, but soon. The idea is that they will be. Hey JNK, how's it going?
You want more sound? Crank it up. They're too spread out for it to bounce, yeah. houses by my econ area maybe like this eventually our archers will just be critting every attack I'm a big believer believer in the process all right boats are coming from the left that's good and some cavalry Probably time to upgrade these a little bit. We created a special economic zone within the kingdom. That, that's allowed, right? People are already talking about canceling me. Oh no, I made it harder to place this thing. My bad. Another one? That's kind of reasonable. Why is a gold rate described as per minute instead of in game time? I don't know. to put our tarts next to the water. 13 boats that way, 47 axemen, 13 knights. Shit's messed up. It's not next to the water, apparently. Rude. Lapras was taken thanks for 30 months. Appreciate it. That sounds nice, Tema. Sounds lovely. Is it blessing time? I guess it is. Uh, oh, enemies are under statuses. I'm shooting them with stuff that gives them statuses. Awesome. I have triggered Toxical Explosion. Impossible to say what that means, but it sounds good. I actually know what it means. It was... I know you're thinking, like, oh, I know what it means. So do I. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, anyway. How's this shit going? There seem like there are a lot of things about to hit my base. 
This is day nine. Sean, I should have known. They're kind of all arriving at exactly the same time. I think this would be nowhere near as bad if that wasn't the case. Chance to freeze the ground. Ice surfaces slow enemies. When fire elementals hit ice surfaces, they trigger fracture. When water hits it, they trigger freezing. Okay. <gasps> 47 per minute? That might pay for itself before I die. Not likely, but... <laughs> But also not impossible. <laughs> Name seems like a more complex rogue tower that I haven't figured out. Uh I mean, we'll see. We'll see how the balance actually holds. Not quite ready to claim that it is that yet. I've triggered a fracture. Does not having a Nintendo growing up count as childhood trauma? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, it, it does not. Ooh. Ah, oh, I can't place it here. But I could place it here and then connect to it. Well, it seems okay. Okay. I am starting to think maybe the game is about combining elements. Kind of the vibe that I'm getting. Uh, we've got everything at once again. <laughs> yeah, I am Eric. to move Archer building further away. I don't know what that means. No. 
There are surprisingly few things that are next to water here. Yeah, the boats are definitely zooming. The boats, they are a zooming. 15 boats there. This is good. What's this? Just close this. But then everything's forced into that. I don't know. I might actually not have enough entrances. I think I'm going to enrage next round if I stay like this. Our defense with bridges that block line of sight is special. Hmm. Damage, extra damage to armor. Attack speed, window, extra armor damage. How about that? I made it to day 13. I have 1200 gold. Oh. That's like a lot. Oh no. Oh no, there are boats from both sides. Uh, I think I'm just dead. Wonder. Does this hit there? Nope. I don't think this will actually bounce because the things are going to be spread out. Ooh. Castle HP increased by 60%. If fire is damaged over time, would it make sense to have a really long path with a fire tower right at the entrance to get maximum duration? It seems to tick like two times. So, no. sleep. It's been good. It's been good chilling with y'all.